Dr. Lebo, Lebo Gyno. So follow up on Sundays, uh, got this 27 year old from Connecticut who had multiple gynecomastic surgeries before me. And I just kind of did him, uh, how long ago? Uh, about a year. A year ago. And um, he's been fighting scar tissue here. We've been fighting. He's had multiple surgeries. So uh, he came back uh, for two things. One, a little steroid shot right in here. And, and again, if this doesn't do it, I can make a little incision on a weekend, tiny little one, what I call flip, flip the nip, and just get this little thing out. It'll take me 10 minutes to do. But uh, he, people went in there before me, and I did, like, I don't know, four times? Yeah. And I, I don't want to, you know, re-surgery is kind of a double-edged sword. You, you cut something out, scar tissue will form. So a little Kenalog 10, get up in there, and going to just kind of pop this. Boom, get up a nice amount right in there. Perfect. Let that be. Do a little bit on the other side. Yeah, I'm in a good spot here. I can feel it. There we go. I felt that. Do you feel it pop? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good job here. I felt that good. Okay. Good enough for that. Um, got, got a little bit left. Hold on. Now look at his left ear. Uh, he's got a little cauliflower ear there. So what we're gonna do is drain that. So <clears throat> same patient, and while he was here, he's, he took, took the ferry across from Connecticut. He says, Doc, you know, I was wrestling, you know, this and that, and he's got this cauliflower ear, <laughs> which uh, you gotta drain, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta do it more than once. But um, he's a patient of mine, so I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to drain it now, and I'll probably give him a little needle and syringe, and he can drain it because one time might not be it. I can make a little slit, put it in a drain, and sew it and let it let it drain over the next couple of days. But um, I normally don't do this. I do gynecomastic surgery, but, you know, it's either that or he'll go to, you know, some doctor and he'll mess him up. I know that <laughs> I'll do things right because that's what I do. So little three cc syringe, 21 gauge needle. I can feel the little pillow right in there and stick it right there, boom. No numbing because it's, you know, and here we go. And let's see what this does. This is old blood. And if you don't drain this, what happens? It turns into cartilage. Get those cauliflower ears that you see in, in these old time wrestlers. And boom, yeah, almost two and a half, three cc's out. So what I'll do is, let me, uh, let me come out. Boom, let that be there. So that's that, and we go back in again. When this happened? How long ago? Uh, over this past week. Okay. There you go, much better already. Let me just, Play around with it. Good. And I think I got a little bit more right about here. Go in that same little hole. Find it. There we go. There we are. Yeah. And of course, I'm not going to charge him for this. My patients are like family. Do it. Ah, there we go. I got a nice spot there. Little nooks and crannies there. I'll probably put a little pressure dressing on here for a day.
All right, milk it up here. Milk it up there. Yeah, got another two cc's out there. <clears throat> One and a half. Done. See that? Done, done, done. Good, cool. So that's much better. Hold it there for a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is put a little pressure dressing on there. He'll leave it on for a day or two. And then uh, I'll FaceTime him uh, midweek, see how this looks. And uh, see if it fills up again. we got to drain it again. Or I'll give him a, a needle syringe. He's a, he's a tough guy. He'll drain it. I'll FaceTime him. He can drain it in the mirror. That's probably what, what we'll do. This is easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, so Libogyno, little steroid shot there, and draining a little cauliflower ear from wrestling. Uh, see the difference already? But looks nice and normal. All right, 631-424-0101, and email me at jonathanleapwoodsmd at gmail.com. And remember, I wouldn't have done this for him, but he's my patient. Patients are family. I gotta do. Family do what family do. All right.